Hi, Flannity friends and followers. How are you all doing? How's the week been? Um, I hope everyone's having an amazing and fantastic week. Um, I wanted to post a quick video today um, and share a couple of updates um, and um, just have some conversation. So um, before we get started, I'm going to post my um, weekly weigh-in up in the top corner. Um, and I've just been fairly consistent at three, at, um, 237, 238. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I was 236, um, which I had mentioned um, in last week's video that I was hoping to do my weigh-in after I finished um, my period to see how my body has uh, reacted towards the um, water weight gain. So I um, am looking forward to it declining a little bit more. Um, I have, I don't feel like I've stalled out, but I feel, I feel like I'm a little stagnant. Um, and for that very reason, I actually signed it for a personal trainer. So I start personal training on Wednesday. Um, I'm only going to do three sessions. Um, and they're basically like explanatory sessions where they walk you through um, free weights, machines, and then cardio, and then set you up with, um, uh, you know, foods based on what your end goals are. And I talked to the instructor, the personal trainer that I'm going to be working with. And I told her, I'm like, listen, when I was in college, I was fit. I was healthy. I had, um, you know, I wasn't thin, but I loved how I felt and I loved how I looked. I want to get back to close to, if not, if not that, um, in my forties, it's become incrementally more difficult for me to lose weight. And I know y'all have been talking about that and saying that in the Plenity group chat, um, that it is, it's harder. It gets harder and harder for you to lose weight as you age. Um, and so for that very reason, I'm trying to see what I can do to sup supplement the Plenity that I'm taking. Um, so I actually am going to insert a video right now of me taking the Planity because I know, um, the, uh, so I joined a Facebook, um, Planity support group. Um, and I, it's actually been really fantastic because there's a lot of new Planity, um, uh, subscribers on the channel and I've been hope answering a lot of questions for them. Um, so one of the questions was, how do you take the pills and how does it actually feel to take the pills? So I'm going to put that video in right now and then we'll have a little conversation about it. So as you can see, the pills are not small. They're fairly large. And um, I have had moments where I've tried to swallow and they've gotten stuck in my throat. And the key is making sure you've got a large enough cup of water to swallow the pill. Um, one of the other conversations that a lot of people have been having back and forth is, do I take it with cold water or warm water? Um, and honestly, like I love cold water. I can't drink warm water. I feel like I have to have ice in my water it has to be that cold. Your body will regulate the temperature of the plenty, 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 um, in your body. So what will happen is you take cold water. It will take longer to dissolve in my opinion, like from, from kind of being on it now for almost seven weeks is I, f I can tell when it's dissolved quicker when I drink something that's more maybe lukewarm. Um, and that's why I take it an hour before my meal as well, because I find that if I take it an hour before my body has enough time to um, regulate the temperature and it's enough time for it to expand in my stomach to help me with that fullness feeling before the meal. Um, so I don't think it makes a difference. Some people are drinking with tea, with warmer fluids. Um, it will probably expand quicker in your stomach with the warmer fluid. Um, I did a, an experiment um, a couple of weeks ago where I, I actually dissolved it in a cup of water. And I could tell that with the warmer, like lukewarm water, it did actually expand a lot quicker than when I tried to do it in like 
cold water a couple of weeks before that. So, um, you know, to each their own. If you want to drink it with tea, drink it with tea. There is also a discussion going on about how your body reacts when you drink it with like a seltzer water. So I, I have seen a lot of back and forth dialogue around like side effects. I haven't had any, like zero, no bloating, no, um, uh, like gas, no, uh, like IBS, no irritable bowel syndrome, nothing. I've had no side effects. The only thing that I, I have experienced is, um, trying to eat more than I should be eating and getting the feeling of like regurgitating. I didn't throw up or anything, but I felt like I was close to it because I was putting more in my body than I should. And that's actually fantastic because like I'm training my brain to, t to say that's enough. I need to stop eating. Um, so I've had no side effects. And so I do drink it with seltzer water. I drink it with Diet Coke, with Coke Zero. And I found no issue at all drinking with that. But again, I would take, especially for those of those of you that are starting from the, from the beginning, take your time. Figure out, you know, you might try it one day with water, try it with um, seltzer water, try it with tea. You'll know what works for your body because your body will tell you if it's the right thing to be taking or not. Um, so I, um, yeah, so I've been taking it with, uh, so today I, I just had water, um, and I'm about to head to the gym right now. I'm really excited to meet with the personal trainer. Um, I've met with a personal trainer before I did personal training before I got married, uh, 13 years ago and managed not to cut weight, but to build muscle. And that's like my goal. I know that that sounds like the antithesis of, of, of what, um, female most females want but I do want to build muscle because muscle burns fat faster um so I'm looking to regain the muscle that I have the you know my hamstring muscles my calf muscles my biceps my abs all of that and the hope is by doing that I burn fat faster um because I do work out every day I've mentioned that yesterday I did a 5k um, Saturday, I did go to the gym. Um, I did cardio as well. I think what the trainer is going to tell me is that I should be doing more um, lifting than cardio, which I'm fine with. I just need to make sure that I'm doing the right steps and the right, you know, things that I, I need to um, help my my body. So, um, yeah, I'm also going to go ahead and insert a quick video right now of me working out of the gym and. Um, What you can see is that like I am working out with a mask on. I'm running with a mask on. I'm walking with a mask on. I'm sweating bullets, which is awesome because I also find that the more um, fit I become, the more I sweat. And I don't know why that happens. Maybe I'm drinking more water, um, but I find the more um, fit that I become, the more I sweat. So um, I'm just, you know, keeping up with the plenity. I know I'm seven weeks in and I know I'm still at like the six pound weight loss. Um, I am noticing a difference. I did do my measurements um, and I will go ahead and um, insert those measurements in so you can see. And where I'm noticing the most profound difference is that my neck, which means I'm cutting weight here and my chest. I always lose weight here first. That's always like, you can always see it in my face first and then it goes away from the rest of my body where I really need to lose the weight. Um, but that is a good indication for me that I'm actually cutting and I'm not just, um, you know, it's not just water weight because I actually have lost an inch on my neck in the last three months, which I think is awesome, like an inch on my neck. Um, and around that on my, um, on my chest, an inch and a half on my chest as well. Um, so yeah, so I um, hope that you're all consistently taking your plenity. I hope that you are drinking your water and you are listening to your body. Because again, what this is trying to teach you is listen to your body. Your body will tell you when it's time, stop, time to stop eating. Like stop, I'm full, don't eat more. Um, I did have, there was another 
conversation in the feed about like some folks who Monday through Friday are like gung ho, really stringent with their calories. And I, like I said, I calorie count using my fitness pal and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday do what they want. And I, I'm not like, I'm not there. I still calorie count on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but I will eat pizza. I will eat traditionally unhealthy foods, but I'll counteract that with a workout or by cutting, um, like my lunch, um, Sunday, for example, we had Chinese food and for lunch, I didn't have lunch. I had an apple for lunch. I had eggs for breakfast. And so that kind of counteract, um, counteracted the calories and the calorie intake, the caloric intake. So I feel better about that. Like I'm making these choices now. I'm not just, you know, whatever, I'm going to eat whatever I want on the weekend, but I'm making very active choices. And I also, I haven't been drinking. I haven't drank. Oh God, I haven't had alcohol in two months almost, I think. Um, so that's obviously less calories as well. So, um, you know, all this is part of a journey. I'm, I, I've mentioned this in my videos before, but I'm in this for the long haul and I'm not planning on, um, you know, stopping since Planity is a device and not a medication. I'm, I don't plan to stop taking it. Like I'm not going to just stop taking it cold turkey because I'm not seeing like a one or two pound weight loss. Um, I try to weigh myself every day, but then I also look at it from month, month to month because that for me is the biggest indication of loss. So have an awesome week. I will hopefully talk to you all next week. Bye.